Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and as you can tell from the title of this video, I bought stuff from Style Korean once again. So let's get this haul started. But first, I gotta start with a backstory as always. So when I placed my order for my last Style Korean haul, I was kind of bummed that stuff from Roman was not on sale until after I made that purchase. So I thought to myself, okay, when Roman has a huge sale again, I'm just gonna go buy a bunch of products so I can do a full face of Roman video for you guys. So with that in mind, I wasn't expecting my next huge style Korean haul to be until like May or something. But guess what? The last week of April, there was a two-day Roman flash sale. And originally, I was just gonna wait out until the next brand sale because style Korean tends to do a lot of Roman flash sales. But um, my friend told me that it's my other friend's birthday soon. So I just caved in and bought some stuff. So I pretty much bought a full face of Roman products that were 50% off and I can't wait to show you guys in a separate video in the future. So besides buying stuff for a future Roman brand video, I did buy some other stuff that caught my eye. So first is this freebie for spending more than $20 on a style Korean order. And it is the Hamish Marine Care Eye Cream. And according to the box description, it has dual functions of brightening and anti-wrinkle. And pretty much just total eye care for elasticity and wrinkle improvement, moisturization, and brightening. So here's how the inside of the box looks like. I think it's really cute. And they even it even comes with this eye massager tool, which is definitely new. And here's how the ball looks like. It's 30 milliliters, so this will last me for a long time. Um, I'm probably not going to use it right away because I have another eye cream to finish off that's also 30 milliliters. And god, they take so long to finish, even when you use it every night. So I'm looking forward to using this in the future. The week I made this purchase, they're having a special sale on Travel Size Essentials. So the first thing I got was this Ilyun Ceramide... Is it Ato or Ato? Ceramide Ato. <laughs> Ilyun Ceramide Ato Concentrate Cream. And it's pretty much for like body or hands. And I pretty much bought this because it was like $1 and I heard good things about this brand. The next Travel Size item I got for like 99 cents or something is the Etude Sunjung. 5.5 foam cleanser. It's pretty much just a simple basic foam cleanser and I got it because you know it was travel size and I will be going on a trip soon in the future so I thought might as well buy it now. The next product is this box of 10 piece sheath masks from the brand JM Solution and this is the Honey Luminous Royal Propolis Mask and this isn't a time deal for like $7.99 or something compared to the original $20 I believe and they say the propolis is really good for its antibacterial, anti-inflammatory properties, which is really good for acne-prone skin like me. Like you guys wouldn't believe it, but I had some really, I had a really huge breakout the week I made this purchase. So I really tried the sheet mask once, and although it's kind of sticky after using it, it's not that bad actually. I'm kind of salty though, cause like no kidding. But right after I made this purchase, Style Korean started a new sale for all sheet masks, and especially the sheet mask sets. So a lot of popular sheet masks that I was interested in only went on sale after I made this purchase and I was like, ugh, again. Technically, this next product I'm going to show you guys is not from this style Korean haul. I actually got it from Amazon. But that's because only after I made the style Korean purchase, I realized I should have included a serum in the order because that night I ran out of my Beauty Adjustant serum and I was like, oops. So right here, I had the popular Centella serum from the brand Skin1004 and it's said to be 100% made of Centella. This is the 55ml size and surprisingly Style Korean only had the 30ml or 100ml size so I'm glad that Amazon had this. This is actually a really hyped serum among skincare influencers on YouTube because it's said to be made of 100% Centella extract so nothing else, just pure Centella. All the YouTubers seem to really love this serum for its calming properties and I'll take their word for that and I think that this would be really good for people with sensitive and acne prone skin like me especially on this area and my cheeks. I've only used the serum in the morning and night for 3 days so I can't really say much about its results. But I'm really glad I now have a serum I can turn to when I have really nasty breakouts. So I hope it's worth the $15. And so the next thing I bought is this new sunscreen from the brand called Jumiso which I've never tried before. And it is the Jumiso Super Soothing Sika and Alloy Sunscreen. I pretty much bought this because Style Korean was promoting it on the website because it was a new product launch from Jumiso and for pre-ordering you could get it for $7.99. And you can also get $3 rewards if you review it before May 20th. But besides the good price, I was also interested in this just because it contains Centella Asiatica extract and Alloy extract. Jumiso actually released another sunscreen along with this one. So that one was the chemical version and this is the physical version. 
And according to the description of the sunscreen, it's supposed to block both UVA and UVB rays, and it's also less irritating to the skin compared to a chemical sunscreen, I assume. And it's a mild sunscreen for all skin types that absorbs softly and moistly. So I'm actually wearing this right now on my face, and I was kind of surprised by like the finish it gave me. So as you can see now, it's pretty dewy or maybe greasy a tiny bit. It's been quite a while since I used an actual physical sunscreen, so I was really surprised when I put this on my face. Like the white cast was real. I'll insert a short clip of my face after using it. It's expected to have a white cast from physical sunscreen, so I would advise to wait for a while for the white cast to fade out a bit. Although the sunscreen is pretty thick, it did absorb quickly just like it said. So I wasn't really left with a heavy feeling of something in my face once I let the sunscreen absorb after a few minutes. But yeah, with the amount of white cast the sunscreen left on my face, I think this could also double as a tone-up cream. Overall, for my first impression, I think that this Jumiso Super Soothing Seek and Alloy Sunscreen does its job as a physical sunscreen. Just that I might have to take some precaution when it comes to applying it, like waiting at home 10 minutes before I leave the house with this, or else I'll be like a really white ghosty mess. I feel like I would reach for this sunscreen on days I know I'd be out for a long time under the sun, but probably not something I would use daily. I feel like even after the initial white cast fades away after a few minutes, it does leave my skin with a brightened and dewy finish. Which I don't mind of course because I do prefer having pale looking skin. But if you have a complexion that's like tanner or darker than this, then I would probably reconsider getting this sunscreen just because of its white cast. My first time trying this Dreamy Soul sunscreen is right before filming this video, so what better way to see how it performs under makeup than showing you guys a new cushion foundation. So after my last style Korean haul, I thought to myself that I really wanted to try the new Zero cushion that just came out from Roman after seeing it for half off. And because of that Roman flash sale, I was able to grab my hands on it. I was really interested in this cushion just because I've never tried a complexion product from Roman before, and also I heard some good reviews about it. But there only seems to be a couple English reviews of this cushion, so I wanted to join in the hype and see if it's really worth it. Here's how the cushion compact looks like, and I got the shade 03 Natural 21. There are currently 5 shades available for this cushion foundation, and I was kind of struggling to decide between number 2 Pure 21 and number 3 Natural 21. And the only difference is that one is more cool toned and the other one is more warm toned. And like I said before, there weren't that many English speaking reviewers who compared the different swatches. So so I had to look for Korean review videos to guess which shade matched me the best. So the Roman New Zero Cushion Foundation is said to be a cushion powder foundation made of fine particles that leave skin with a radiant and semi-matte finish. Also effectively covers pores and blemishes. So I think that this New Zero Cushion Foundation is a reformulation of like the original Roman Zero Cushion Foundation, which I've never used before, so I can't tell you the difference between these two. I waited four days to try this on camera for the first time for you guys, so let's hope that this shade matches me. Here's the inside, just your usual foundation cushion packaging. Oh, and here it is. Time for the best part. Woo! Alright, let me just get my finger. Whoa! Right away, my first impression, I'm really surprised by how dense and hard this sponge is inside. Usually the sponges containing the foundation are really soft and easy to press, but this was pretty hard. Let me just swatch on my hand for you guys. So this is the shade Natural 21. Yeah, I think I think this might match me. <laughs> Seriously guys, this thing is like, oh, it's almost like pressing onto a rock. <laughs> it's pretty hard. And this is how it looks like. I also heard good things about this cushion puff from the reviews I saw. And it doesn't seem to be a strong fragrance, which is a plus. So I'm just going to apply a light layer on the right side of my face. Ooh, it feels really nice. So here's how my face looks like with and without the foundation. And on camera, you can see quite a difference already. And just like the cushion clamps, I can definitely see the semi-matte and radiant finish on my skin. Here's how the new Zero Cushion looks like on my entire face, and I'm glad to announce that this shade matches my skin tone. Here's a close-up of my face with the foundation on, and I believe, based on my first impression, that this foundation has a light to medium coverage. I did try to go back and build up another layer on spots that needed more coverage, like my acne scars, but I could still see the pigment showing through. So it's definitely not a high-coverage foundation cushion. 
But overall, I think this cushion looks really good on my skin and it also feels really lightweight and I hope that it lasts for a long time throughout the day. Another thing about the New Zero Foundation Cushion is that it dries down pretty quickly on the skin so I don't really have a super tacky feeling right now. Maybe that's because of its powder particles in the formula. So because of that, I don't know if this foundation actually needs any setting powder but might as well because the next product I have is the Roman... Oh my god, it was upside down. <laughs> the Roman Bed and Finish Powder. Here's how the palette pack looks like and I think it's really cute with how simple and compact it looks. And it comes with a puff and also has a rounded brush that comes with it too. And it's just your simple translucent powder inside. So according to the official description, this powder pack has super micro fine particles that will mattify your skin. And like every other powder, it absorbs sebum, blurs your pores, and sets your makeup. So I pretty much bought this because it was Roman's only setting powder product they have in their line. And also it's a translucent pressed powder, which coincidentally I don't really own that much of. Because for some reason the only powder products I own are translucent loose powders. And besides this one, the only pressed powder contact I own is the one from Canmake, which is the marshmallow finish powder. But that one has a slight tint to it, so I wanted to see how a translucent one would look like on my skin. I've used the setting powder for this video and my first impression is that it works like every other powder should. Of course for this romance haul, I had to get one of their eyeshadow palettes that they're famous for and I decided to get this one, which is the Better Than Palette number 6, Peony Nude Garden. While looking through the large variety of eyeshadows that Romance had to offer, I wasn't really excited by many of the color stories they had. I thought that they're pretty close to the ones I re already own, so I wasn't really sure which one to buy for this video. I know that the quads are pretty popular, but the color stories didn't really speak to me for some reason. Like I felt that they were too dark for me. Which is why I decided to go for this palette, just because it's something that I don't really have in my makeup collection, and it's mostly, um, as you can see, cool toned colors. After using this palette for a couple of times, I can say that this palette is definitely meant for people who like natural muted daily looks. So of course if you want to see swatches and a full demo, you have to stay tuned for that Roman video I have in plan. The next eye products I got from Roman are these two eyelash palettes. This is the Han All Fix Mascara and this is the Han All Lash Serum. This is how the All Fix Mascara looks like and I've seen really good reviews on this mascara so I decided to try it out for myself. And the shade I have right here is L02 Long Ash. And I pretty much chose this color because Roman is one of the Korean brands that offer mascara colors that is not black and brown. So I was really curious to see how an ash colored mascara would look like on my eyes. Here's how the wand looks like and I really like how skinny and curved it looks. And there is some fibers in it because it is a lengthening mascara. I don't know if you guys can see from this close up. So if you're looking for mascara that lengthens and curls your eyelashes but looks really natural then I would highly recommend this. And then the next product I have from the Han line is this Roman Han All Lash Serum. I've only used this lash serum a couple of times so I definitely cannot tell you if this changed my eyelashes because I think you're supposed to use this for about a month to see any results. I do own two other lash serums I try to use consistently, the first one being the Etude one and the second one being some Japanese one I got on sale at the time. And I was mainly intrigued by this one from Roman because of its wand. As you can see, it has this puff at the end which makes applying the serum really convenient and easy. Compared to this Japanese one I own, I found that this metal tip hurts when I apply it onto my lower lash line so I really like how they added this for the Roman Lash Serum. And just a basic description of this lash serum, it's supposed to strengthen and nourish your eyelashes and make them healthier. It contains various types of peptides to promote hair growth. There's also soybean seed extract and other proteins to fortify lashes with nutrients and make the hair cuticles smooth and healthy. So that product description sounds pretty appealing to me. I can't wait to use this and see how it works in the future. And lastly, it's not a romance haul if you don't get any other lip products. So this time I got the Zero Velvet Tint in the shade 22 Grainy Nude. And this is from their Vintage line. In my last style Korean haul, I got their Juicy Lasting Tint, which I really like. So I thought I would try their other formula, which is their Zero Velvet Tint. Let me tell you guys, it was pretty hard choosing which shades from the Zero Velvet Tint line because there's just so many. But I decided to go with a tint from the Vintage Filter line because it's the only series which has nude shades. For some reason, I was just in the mood for a nude lip color and looking at the other colors in the Velvet Tint line, I can see that they're pretty dark or bright. So I felt that this shade matched my current interests. So according to the official description for the Vintage Filter series, this series includes 
tints that are subdued dusty colors to create a natural lip look perfect for spring and the shade i picked is number 22 green nude which is a nude beige that naturally matches your skin tone i'm actually wearing this tint right now on my lips and it really does look natural like it says I never thought I would find myself buying a velvet tint because I normally don't gravitate toward those kind of finishes but I really like how it feels like on my lips. It doesn't feel too drying at all, which is the case for some tints like this. The formula actually does feel lightweight and blurs the lines on my lips like it claims. And just like every other lip tint, this does kind of transfer when you eat or drink but overall I found that the lasting power is really good and the color tint still stayed on so overall I really like this product. And there you have it, that was my recent style Korean haul. Like, this is a record for me. It's two style Korean hauls in a month. But I don't want. I'm not looking forward to breaking that record anytime soon. Like, holy shit! Like two hauls in the one month is already a lot for me. So please stop me. Please stop me, God, from buying any more makeup or skincare in the month of May. But as a filming's video, Flower Nose, which is a Chinese brand I reviewed on this channel before, just showed a preview of their new series coming out, and they just opened international shipping. So um, let's hope I can resist that for a bit. And I pray that there won't be any bundle sets from that brand because I am a sucker for those bundles. So I hope you guys enjoy that simple and quick style Korean haul. And I'm really excited to film a video of a full face of romance products only in the future. So as always, don't forget to leave a comment. Leave a... <laughs> so as always, don't forget to leave a comment below. Click on the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!